Hello everyone, we're here with Xavier L. Ruffin, the founder of the Gospel Challenges, and our goal is to let you have a little inside of this man's creativity, his ministry, and his goal in regards to education. How are you, Mr. Ruffin? I'm doing fine. How are you? Wonderful. I'm blessed. Please tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm in 11th grade. I'm currently attending Bamberg Earhart High School. And um, besides the Gospel Challenges, I'm involved in a lot of different programs and jobs and stuff. Um, the major things that I really have my focus on right now, as of now, is my junior ROTC program, the soccer program that I'm currently in, and the this photography company that I'm working with, and I'm a website designer, and I make different websites for different companies and stuff. And tell me a little bit in your grades. Uh, currently, I have a GPA of three point three two on a four point zero scale, which is about a B average, B plus average around that range. And what are your goals after school? My goals after school is to attend college, and when I attend college, go through the ROTC program and possibly join armed forces afterwards. Wonderful. It seems as though you have your future set out for yourself. It, it sounds easier than it is. That's wonderful. Let's get back to the gospel challenges. When did you discover or when did you come up with the concept of the Gospel Challengers? Um, I didn't really come up with the concept. It just fell in place. I did, decided to do a praise dance at my church. Then after doing a praise dance at my church, my mom recorded it. And I showed a couple of my friends and they came over to the house and we was like, we should make a praise group. And after that, the Gospel Challengers was kind of born. In the beginning, we really didn't have a name. And then one of the members, well, our members are already Cron Brown and Leonard Mobley. And Ray Cron was like, um, what about the Gospel Challengers for a name? And that's been a name that we've been using. And the ministry has just spawned it on from that first praise dance from the song Revolution. And did you see... Did you have any idea that the gospel challenges would be where they are today? No, I never believed it would be as well known as we are now. Currently, we're one of the most talked about praise groups and we're close between 25 and 40 miles of Danbury, South Carolina. And I didn't think it would blow up like this. We're I just expected it to last for about a month or so before people lost interest. But when you keep God as your goal, people never lose interest. And what is your mission with the Gospel Challenges? Our mission is spreading God's ministry outside the box. Meaning, we do different things like using different music, different music genres that relate to gospel to spread God's word because God comes in many different forms to us and he ex he blesses us to express it to you in many different ways and that includes outside the box and your focus is your focus just trying to do your ministry or trying to reach out your ministry to just the youth or where our ministry is not just for the youth, it's for adults, children, teenagers, people middle age, just for everybody. Just like God's word is for everybody, our ministry is for everybody. We touch everybody's hearts. And are you proud of yourself? Uh, yes, I'm proud of myself, but I would like to say I'm proud of my group for making it as far as we did. And I would like to say that I'm just proud that God allowed me to do what I'm doing now. 
And is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, please keep God in mind whenever you're doing anything. And if you decide to make a praise group or mind group, just make sure you keep God as your focus. And don't let drama or anything else like that get in the way or cloud what are you doing. Because what you're doing is a blessed thing. And you have to keep God in mind at all times. It seems as though you're a young man that have a great future. Is there any persons or anybody that you want to thank for giving you the guidance and allowing you to be the person that you are today to share your goals and your ministry with? First, I would like to thank God because he gives me strength to wake up every morning to do what I do. And I would like to thank my mom and my stepdad for just pushing me and pushing the whole group because without them, we wouldn't really have a group. And they just push us and push us and push us and make sure we get where we are today. Xavier Leonardo Ruffin giving us his version of the Gospel Challenges ministering outside the box. Thank you.